What would happen if the moon suddenly began getting closer to Earth, to the point where it was on a collision course with the planet? Would the Earth survive the crash? Or would a crash even happen? Would the moon get torn up by the Earth's gravity? And what would this moon look like if there was anyone left to see it? First, we should establish more facts about our natural satellite. The moon was formed about 4.6 billion years ago, which was approximately between 30 and 50 million years after the formation of the solar system. The moon is around 3,475 kilometers in diameter, and its mass is 7.35 times 2 to the 22nd kilograms, which is about 0.01 of Earth's mass. The moon is also about a quarter of the size of planet Earth. Different parts of the moon have vastly different temperatures. It can be as cold as negative 173 degrees Celsius or negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit and as hot as 127 degrees Celsius or 260 degrees Fahrenheit. And the moon also actually has an atmosphere, although very thin, which is why most of what astronauts leave on the surface have not been wiped away. The moon causes our tides by pulling onto Earth's gravity. The moon is usually an average of about 384,400 kilometers or 238,750 miles away from Earth, which is approximately the size of eight Earths. The surface of the moon is covered in craters because those are where it was hit by various comets and asteroids. And one side of the moon, there are more than 300,000 craters that are over a kilometer wide. And the moon orbits the Earth every 29 days. It is the first and only surface beyond Earth that humans have set foot on. The moon gravitational pull causes tides on Earth. Tides that might have been the encouragement for life in our oceans to move on land. And this pull also keeps Earth from wobbling on its axis, making our climate relatively stable. In short, the moon makes Earth a more livable place. Now, what if the moon suddenly sped up and started driving in the Earth's direction? The moon's plan to destroy Earth by bumping into it would break into pieces the moment it reaches the Roche limit. The moon itself would shatter, never making it to Earth's surface. Well, at least intact. And that's going to look pretty impressive. But wait, what is the Roche limit? In celestial mechanics, it is the point at which the gravity holding a satellite together is weaker than the tidal forces trying to pull it apart. In other words, the moon can only get as close as 18,470 kilometers or 11,470 miles away from our planet before, boom, the tidal forces would rip it apart. All the footprints and flags that we've left on the moon, all of its craters and valleys would scatter to form a breathtaking ring of debris above the Earth's equator, 37,000 kilometers or 23,000 miles in diameter. This ring would make Earth the second planet in our solar system after Saturn to have this striking ring of beauty. The difference being that our rings just wouldn't last very long. The chunks of a former satellite, the moon, would rain down on Earth. Smaller chunks first, bigger ones last. It would be as if hundreds of thousands of asteroids are falling down on us and wiping out entire cities in the process. The Yellowstone super explosion would be tiny in comparison, but really our problems would have begun much sooner. Once the moon began its trajectory towards the planet, it would increase the tidal impact it has on us. By the time it hit the Roche limit, it would be causing tides as high as 7,600 meters or 30,000 feet. Our world would be devastated by an army of tsunamis 10 times a day. Waves that are so big they would expose the bottom of the ocean and destroy everything in their way. But for a very short window, those surfers would enjoy the most gnarly waves. On the other hand, this might actually be a solution to global warming. Well, minus everyone dying. With the moon coming closer, Earth rotation would speed up. Our days would become shorter and shorter. Global temperatures would go down. Nobody would worry about the climate change anymore. But thankfully, we don't even need to worry about any of this because the moon is actually moving away from Earth about four centimeters every year. And at some point, if we don't intervene, the moon is gonna slip away into space, which would cause a whole other host of problems. And thankfully, because this scenario is so unlikely, if you wanna catch the most beautiful rings around a planet in this solar system, you'll need to turn your telescopes towards Saturn. 
Next time on Discover Zen, we're going to be talking about what happens to Earth if the temperature rises by 4 degrees Celsius. If you like what you saw today, click that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time.